our government's response to Hurricane Helene is atrocious. It's beyond anything that I honestly thought for a second that then when that when that hurricane was getting spooled up and it was about to hit, and it did hit me a little bit. I'm not there right now, but we were we were in the direct path, and then it went shifted east, thankfully. So I never got hit directly with it. I got a, a lot of rain. Didn't do anything damage, thank God. But our government's response to western North Carolina, eastern Tennessee, and that whole area is atrocious. It's bad. They're not doing anything. Well, Governor Roy Cooper, Democrat, filthy piece of human trash Roy Cooper is, he spooled up 500 reservists. Okay, you should be sending every reservist that you have, National Guard, Army Reserve in North Carolina, you send them to West. You start opening roads up, providing support. But 500 isn't going to do anything. And it doesn't sound like you were pre-positioned or on notice or on 48-hour recall saying, hey, we don't know that. What is the federal government doing? Zero. All their support, they're, they're providing what? This has been a couple days, almost a week. And what are they doing? What are you doing? Nothing. Nothing. They asked, news media asked Biden, he's like, well, we're providing aid. Well, and you got, can you can provide more aid? No, we can't. Because you're sending all the money and other reservists and National Guardsmen over to where? The Middle East? For what? I don't know. It's ridiculous. You cannot trust liberals for anything. They hate you, especially if you're on the right side of the political spectrum. They just, they hate your existence and they will do nothing to support you. Matter of fact, most of Asheville, which is in Asheville, North Carolina, which is in Western Knights Place, but it's run by filthy leftists. You would think that they, they, the leftists and our federal government would be on the ball to try it. Nope, nope, nope. Because they know that North Carolina isn't going to go for Camel Toe Harris or anything like that. So why are they, why are they dropping the ball? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. This is ridiculous. Because if you look at Florida, Governor DeSantis, he's always out there ahead of the curve. He's always out there pre-positioning. And it's not just him, by the way. It's people who have ex expert knowledge and first-hand knowledge of hurricanes who've who are hired by Florida to set up things and try to get crap back working again as fast as possible, as fast and safe as possible. Florida was hit pretty bad. Not as bad as Western and Eastern, Western North Carolina, Eastern Tennessee. But what is the federal government doing? What did they do? Oh, they're sending 500 reservists. Okay, great. Uh, anything else? Roy Cooper, Roy Cooper, Roy Cooper, North Carolina governor. Is there anything else you're going to do? No. No, you got Fort Bragg right there, right? With... 40,000 soldiers there. Then you got, you know, Camp Lejeune, Cherry Point, North Carolina. You got Air Force bases in Georgia or uh, Georgia, North Carolina. Are they? No. No, nothing. Nothing. Okay. Oh, by the way, in Tennessee, Fort Campbell. Are they spooling up there? There's another 40, 50,000 soldiers there. Are they doing anything? The 101st Airborne, 82nd Airborne. No, no, nothing. So what are we doing? I, I don't know. This government that is occupying the White House needs to go and never come back again. This is why I always say in half jesting that we should jail every single liberal, progressive, lib prog, and or Democrat. Throw them in jail. This is why I'm more leaning to we should probably implement that. Now, I know what you're going to say, oh, that's, you know, they're just Americans. They just think different. Yeah. They're commies. And that's just a, a side point. I'm just tired of liberals and Democrats. They're, they're god-awful people, and I want nothing to do with them. They're the worst people on the planet. And it shows. You have actual Americans suffering right now that are dead, most likely. A lot of them are. 
who got caught up in, you know, the floodwaters and, and such. What is, what is the government doing? Nothing. Nothing. I, I got nothing else to say. This is ridiculous. We should be doing all hands on deck, dumping as much resources as we can in that area. What is the federal government doing? Nothing. And this is why I always say you cannot trust the federal government to run anything or do anything. Because if you, if you gave the federal government <laughs> the Gobi Desert and said, I want you to control the sand, you'll be out of sand within a week. They do the opposite. So for the most part, I think it should be kept on a local level and you should probably handle it yourself. But why do we pay taxes if our federal government won't go out there and help? Then we shouldn't pay taxes then, right? Don't get me started. I'm, all, I'm all over the place here. I'm just I'm tired of this filthy Biden-Harris regime that's occupying the White House and ruining things. I don't even think that, even if Trump gets back in and think, hopefully he will, I don't think that, I think we're too far gone to save everything, anything. We're done. We're cooked. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just tired of it. Prayers out to the people in Western North Carolina and Eastern uh, Tennessee and in Georgia as well. Because there was a lot of floods in Atlanta, Georgia, by the way, a lot. Um, and a Northwestern Georgia as well. Same thing. You know, it's just, it's amazing that our federal government isn't all hands on deck and getting out there. I guess, I guess in closing is, I would say stop paying taxes, but, well, you don't want to be the first person because you're going to go to jail. They're going to, they're going to toss you. They'll get you eventually. Um, vote like your, vote like your life depends on it coming here uh, November 5th, because if you this, if that evil, vile, vicious, lizard creature woman gets into office, it, it's, wor it'd be, it's worse than if, if Biden spent another four years. I, I'm, I'm done. done. I'm done talking about it. It's just... That was... Oh,